everybody. So I had an idea uh, inspired by somebody on Twitter um, of using GitHub uh, code spaces for the Epic React Dev workshop material. Some folks who are, especially people on Windows, uh, seem to have, be having some trouble getting the workshops set up. Um, it's really hard to know why. Every single one of them seems to have a different reason. Um, and so this might be a really good solution for those situations. So big shout out to Boston for uh, inspiring me here. I actually did try this <clears throat> earlier, but um, couldn't get it to work. But I figured out how to get it to work. Uh, and so we'll just use the fundamentals workshop as an example. So um, let's see, github.com, react fundamentals. And then if you, right now, code spaces is experimental. Uh, let me see if there's a, a GitHub code spaces. Uh, I don't know whether you can sign up for it or, uh, yeah, you can request early access. So go to github.com slash features slash code spaces. And uh, yeah, and request early access. And once you get it, then um, you can click on the green button here and say open with code spaces. And I already created one, but here I'm going to delete it just so we can go through the whole rigmarole here. I'll say create a new code space. This will initialize the code space. It actually doesn't take an enormous amount of time uh, to get through this, uh, but it does take a second. So I'm just going to keep on talking until it, it's done. Um, here, I can has dadjoke.com. What do you call a bee that lives in America? A USB. <laughs> That's good. All right. So they're running the container. Um, Docker, boy, what this world would be without Docker. I don't even know. Uh, let's read another one. Why can't your nose be 12 inches long? Because then it'd be a foot. <laughs> that one's good. Uh, okay, come on, come on, you can do it. It does take a second, but once it's set up, then uh, you're off to the races, ready to rock and roll. So um, it shouldn't take this long every time you want to start up the workshop. You just, just the first time when you create the container in the first place. Okay, so you get a couple of things that, that pop up um, asking you for different things. Here it has, um, I have recommended extensions, and so we'll just go ahead and install those get all those handy extensions installed into the code space. And you know, while I'm waiting for everything to get up and running, uh, well, it looks like everything is up and running, so let's, let's do that. Um, now we're gonna run the setup script as is indicated in our instructions here. So we'll say npm run setup. And while that's going, I'm actually also going to add um, the uh, um, night owl extension so I can have just beautiful um, color code scheme and whatever. Yeah, let's go Night Owl, booyah. That's what I'm talking about, yeah. Okay, sweet. So then uh, here I'll come over to my source fi uh, folder, go exercises 01, that's where I'm at. Um, let's also, uh, here we go. Yep, allow, thank you. Um, bum, 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 bum. Here, while that's val validating, my system is up and ready to rock and roll and be awesome. Let's look at another joke. Do you want a brief ex explanation of what an acorn is? It, in a nutshell, it's an oak tree. <laughs> Wait, in a nut. Oh, that makes sense. Ah, ha, ha. Okay, it's an oak tree in a nutshell. Um, what do you hear? A, uh, want to hear a joke about construction? Nah, I'm still working on it. <laughs> If two vegans are having an argument, is it considered beef? Wait, oh yeah, because they're having a beef. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Um, okay, cool, so this is still rolling. Um, so now it's running the tests and um, the, the build, which will take some time, so we'll, we'll keep on keeping on. Uh, actually, I'll pull up the um, 05.js here, because that's the first one we have a test for, and I'm gonna swap us. Well, actually, let's wait until the tests are all finished first, because that would that would be unfortunate. Um, but to get the tests up and running, you need to come into the test file and swap these. So we'll do that really um, as soon as these tests finish running. Now, things probably won't run as fast as they do um, locally. So it is gonna be a bit of a challenge there, um, but they will run and it, and it will work uh, just fine. So just gonna wait on this. I, I didn't announce this to the Discord folks. So I don't know if any of you folks are, um, on Discord watching this right now, but um, I'm gonna share this with people later. I didn't really feel like I needed to have Q&A back and forth and stuff. Here, I'll tell you what, we don't need to wait for the build. I know it's gonna work. So I'm gonna open a new terminal session. This is so wild. 
This is running right in the browser. It just blows my mind. Uh, npm start to get the server up and going. This will just take a moment, and then you'll see the miracle that is GitHub Code Spaces. Now, uh, Code Sandbox also has this. Uh, I believe StackBlitz has this as well. Uh, so you might be able to, to try those. And I'm, I may actually um, add like a configuration file for Code Sandbox so that it just works. Um, but uh, yeah, all of this is still not like recommended over just running it locally. Um, that's what I suggest, just run it locally. Uh, but if you can't get it running locally or something, then this is a potential solution for you. I'm guessing that this ran faster when I did it earlier, and I'm guessing it's going slow because this is running at the same time. The build takes a while because it, it does a lot of stuff uh, for the workshop to be awesome. So I guess let's do another dad joke. Here we go. I wish there was a dark or yeah, dark mode for this page. That would be nice. How does a penguin build its house? It glues it together. <laughs> uh, my wife told me to rub the herbs on the meat for better flavor. That's sage advice. <laughs> Where do you take someone who's been injured in a peekaboo accident to the ICU? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. Come on. Man, this is a bummer. I actually ran the setup and then I went and did something. So I'm not sure how long it took last time uh, when I did this. It might have taken a very long time. So I guess live streams are great, but it also means that I can't like chop this out for you. So um, if somebody wants to put a comment down below, where the um, this is finished, so people can just skip ahead to when it's actually done. That would be great because there's one more trick um, that is important for you to to know um, to get this working. Because the first time I tried this, um, it did not. Uh, I I was very confused at how to get the browser up and running. So here we go. Very good. Oh, nice. I never noticed this one. Um, open in browser. Oh, sweet. That's cool. Okay, so I'd never noticed that. Um, that makes it a lot easier. Um, what I did was I just uh, hit command click, like it says here, or you can click follow link. Um, and that, that popped it open as well. So here we just um, hover over that. And it should do that, but it looks like it's not doing that anymore. But yeah, you'll want to check, check for that thing. Otherwise, it'll be hard for you to find what you're looking for. Boy, this did go a lot faster. Attempting to reconnect. Uh oh. Hmm, something went wrong. All right, bummer. It worked before. Before I did this live stream, I tried it to make sure that it would work, and it does, I promise. So, watch it on 2x or something. Thank you, Ben. I, I just realized that there are comments. Um, normally I have comments disabled on these videos. So be nice to each other. Uh, how do you master React? I'll show you. Go to epicreact.dev, scroll down, and uh, if you're convinced by all of the amazing stuff that we write about it, then hit ship React apps like a pro and enter in your information. And then work really hard going through all the material, and then you too can be a master of React. Boy, I don't know why this is not working. This is very sad. It was working. Maybe it's just because I'm live streaming and everybody's watching. Um, anyway, it works. It does. I, I, I assure you that it does. Um, and yeah, you, you click that little button that says open it up or you click on the link in here that says open it up and uh, it will work. Uh, Jorge, yes, I, I have tried to run it in Code Sandbox and actually it almost works. Um, so you can go to github.com, whatever, and then add a dot box, and githubbox.com will forward it over to Sandbox, uh, Code Sandbox, which is cool. But uh, yeah, this, this is not currently working. But I am thinking about adding some Code Sandbox configuration in here to make it use the containers instead. And if that ends up working, then uh, you won't need to do this and bother with um, the apparently very beta version of uh, the um, the code spaces. But it's very cool. There are opportunities of things to, to run or things to try. So if you can try code spaces, give that a shot. 
it was working for me, but now for some reason it's not. And I am actively working on trying to get things working in Code Sandbox. So I want you to be able to, to work through this stuff locally if you can, but if you, for some reason the setup isn't working, then I'm gonna try really hard to get it uh, set up so you can just run it in a browser somewhere. So anyway, that's all I wanted to share. Um, we'll do one more dad joke and then I'm gonna go, what is the worst, uh, or what is worse than finding a worm in your apple? Finding half a worm in your apple. Oh, that is worse. That's gross. All right, we're going to go. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out. We'll see you all in the future. Bye.